CCC family. It's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet, and I've got a great pattern for you today. It looks so cool. Um, it just it just pops right out at you, and it looks so difficult, and it's so easy. This is definitely beginner friendly, and I'm going to put that in the description. Um, but this would be a great stitch for anyone who's, I mean, you know how to, you've got to know how to crochet. And by the way, if you don't know how to crochet or you don't know how to do any stitches, I'm going to leave a video below of a beginner video that I have that can really help you navigate crocheting. But if you, I mean, if you're not total new beginner, um, you will find this really easy um, to do. And yeah, so great fun. But it is important that if you want it to get this kind of definition where it looks really 3D, it's important to use a very dark color and a very light color. So this is a forest green. It's picking up a little bit lighter on camera, but this is um, Red Heart. Um, sorry, I'm looking. Um, medium Thyme is what it's called, or Thyme, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, it's almost like a camo green, but I'll leave that in the description below. And this is a Hobby Lobby speckled cream colored yarn that I used. But so I used really dark contrasting colors. This would even look good with black and white as well if you wanted um, to do a black and white blanket for someone. Um, those are really aesthetically pleasing to look at with the eye. But I tried this with a lighter color just to see how it would look before I did the video. Um, because I wanted you guys to know what would work, um, and it didn't pick up. They looked good. Don't get me wrong. The stitch, the pattern looks good, but it just did not pop out. Okay. So I wanted to let you know that, but so that's the use of the yarn I'm using. I just showed you, and then I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook. And for whatever project you're using this for, whether it be a scarf, a shawl, an afghan, a blanket, um, dishcloths, placemats, whatever, you're going to need scissors and a darning needle to finish it off at the end, but I won't necessarily use them uh, for this video because this is just a swatch, okay? So this is done in multiples of um, four, okay? And then if you're gonna be doing, um, you'll have to figure out how, uh, you know, it's, it's actually multiples of four plus three. Um, because these are, um, or I'm sorry, plus two, because these are half double crochets. Okay. So sorry, that took me a minute to remember. So we're going to start with a dark color. And when you're doing yours, you want to start with, start with a dark color as well to get this look that we've got going on here. And let's get into the tutorial. So, um, I'm going to do for our little swatch that we're working on, I'm going to chain 20, 3, 4, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and then the two more, okay? So we've got two more. And then I'm going to, in the third chain from the hook, I'm going to put one half double crochet, okay? And then I'm just gonna keep putting half double crochets all the way down. Um, and by the time you get to the end, you should have a count of 20. I think I did that right. So just work half double crochets all the way down. Okay, so we did all of our half double crochets. And then actually what we're going to do um, for this, uh, this one right here, now that we finished, we're gonna bring in our white color. And I'm just gonna bring it in just like this, right into that loop. I'm gonna pull down and then I'm going to just tie it in the back loosely. So this one you will have to work in, but from here on out, you won't, okay? And so then you're going to do one single, one chain, turn your work, and then you're going to single crochet now all the way across. So now you're going to do single crochets across. Okay, so we're coming up to our last single crochet here. Make sure you turn your work on the side so you can see the loops where you need to work and you know that you need to go into this last one. It can get a little confusing, but right there I see my V stitch. So I'm gonna go through both of those and do my last single crochet. Then I'm going to chain two, turn my work, and now I'm going to work half double crochets down. But this chain of two is gonna count as my first half double crochet here. So I'm gonna go into my next space and do a half double crochet. And 
We're gonna half double crochet all the way down. And as you can tell, I didn't tell you to cut it off. So we still have the green and obviously we're working on the white. So we still have all of those attached. So we're on our last half double crochet. And when we do this one, we're gonna pull up our work like we were gonna do a half double crochet. We've got three loops on our hook. We're gonna drop our white and we're gonna pick up our green just like this. And we're gonna pull it through to finish off that half double crochet. And so now our green is attached and it looks wonderful. So now we're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn our work. And now we'll be working with the green and we're gonna go into our first available stitch here. And we're going to put one single crochet. Then you're going to go into the next stitch, put one single crochet. You're going to go into the next stitch, put one single crochet. And now you're going to do a double crochet right down here. So let me show you how to do this the easiest way possible. Okay. So we've done our three single crochets and now we need to do a double crochet down here. So I'm going to count over using the single crochets before to guide me, okay? So there's one, two, three. So I need to work under this fourth one. So I'm gonna yarn over, go down and work in between this space right here, okay? A double crochet. Now that double crochet counts for my stitch in the back, so I don't need to put a stitch here. I need to go into my next stitch and put one single crochet, go into the next one single crochet, go into the next one single crochet, and now I need to do another double crochet, okay? So if you look back here, we had one, two, three, we worked around the fourth, so now we have one, two, three, and we need to work around that one right there. So there's our fourth stitch right here. So I'm gonna yarn over and go around this one right here and do a double crochet. Don't make that double crochet super tight or it'll pull your work down. So make sure that you pull up on those double crochet loops to get up to where you need to be. Okay, so remember that counts as this for this stitch right here. So we're gonna skip that one, go into our next and do three single crochets across, one, two, and three. Then double crochet in the fourth spot, okay? So one, two, three, there's my fourth. I know I need to go under it right there. And this is the hardest part of this whole project is getting this lined up straight because from here on out, you're gonna be working on top of these. So it makes it really easy. So again, skip the stitch in the back, go across and do three single crochets and then do your double crochet. So one, two, three, there's my fourth. I know I need to work around here. I know I need to keep this loose and pull up my work like this. Skip the one in the back and then we're going to end with three single crochets. Now this can get a little bit confusing here, but right here we're chaining two and turning so this is actually the chain of two right here. So normally you would go right here in the top of this one, but to make it easier, I just wanna go through it. So I'm just gonna go through it and do a single crochet, just like that, okay? Then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and in this, um, I'm sorry, chain two, turn your work. That counts for this, that counts as your first half double crochet there. So then you're gonna do a half double crochet in your next stitch, half double crochet in the next, and you're just gonna keep doing half double crochets all the way down. Okay, and our last spot, this is when we're going to change colors. So now that we're on this last half double crochet, I'm only gonna go through, like I'm starting to do the half double crochet. I've got the three loops on my hook and I'm gonna bring up my white go through just like that, and now we've got our white on. Then I'm gonna chain one and turn my work, okay? And then right in the space right under where that um, chain one is, or right here, we're going to put a single crochet and we're gonna do that three times. So one, two, and three. 
And then we're going to work a double crochet right on top of this one. And basically it's called a front post double crochet. So we're yarning over, going around this post here, pulling our yarn through, making sure that it's, we're keeping it loose and pulling it up so it doesn't pull our project down. And then remember we skip the stitch in the back because that counts for that stitch. And then you do your three single crochets again. One, two, and three. And then double crochet front post around this one. Make sure you pull up your work and it's really loose. And I keep emphasizing that because I did do it a little too tight for my swatch and it did try to pull on my work. I tried to make it curve and that'll happen if you do those too tight. So yarn over after you do your three single crochets and go around your previous double crochet, just like that. That counts for the stitch in the back, so skip that. Do three again. Then front post double crochet around the previous double crochet, pull up. That counts as that in the back. And then we're going to do three single crochets. So one, hold on just a second. one, two, and then remember we're going to work into the space here for three single crochets like that. Okay, then you're going to chain two, turn your work. That chain two counts as your first half double crochet, so go into your next stitch and put one half double crochet into your next one half double crochet and just do half double crochets all the way down. and then when you get to this last half double crochet you're going to go in like you're doing a half double crochet drop your yarn you've got three loops on your hook finish it off sorry about that finish it off with the green so you're just going to pull up your green go through and chain one and turn your work and we'll do it one more time so i can show you okay now you're going to go into your next stitch put a single crochet into your next, put a single crochet, into your next, put a single crochet, and then you're going to do a double crochet front post around your previous one. Make sure you keep that loose. Remember that counts for that stitch in the back. So then you're gonna skip that and do three single crochets. And front post double around this one. And then you see in the back, you're gonna skip that one. And then do your next three. One, two, and three. And then front post double again. That counts as the stitch in the back, skip that. Do three single crochets across. Then do your front post double crochet. And then you're going to do your last three single crochets. One, two, and then into the space, three. Then you would chain two, and then you would work your half double crochets across, and you would just keep repeating that over and over and over again. And it just turns absolutely beautiful. So like I told you, it's not too hard. Right now it's kind of hard with this little swatch to see <clears throat> how great the pattern is, but you could see from what I showed you before, it just keeps getting better and better as you go and the longer it gets. Um, so yeah, it just looks really cool and three. This is my bigger swatch. Just wanted to show you again what it looked like. So as you can see, it just gets better and better as it goes and looks even, you know, even more 3D, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the red um, subscribe button below. Please share this video if you can. It helps so much to friends that you think would be interested or crochet groups um, or on YouTube, on your community channel. It really helps a bunch, especially with the alg algorithm right now on YouTube with the pandemic. It helps a whole lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.